1500 bucks how many people would quit if you quit the whole company's gonna go down too right so it was like you know i, I can't afford it for you to quit i i want to know because you've been with patrick since 09 it's not like you were a leading entrepreneur then you know um and and you're you're you're, you're in that year you're making some serious decisions some people said something about you that you're not going to make it, whatever the case may be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? You got, you put that as a chip on your shoulder. Um, and you're not yet getting the attention of a mentor. You're not yet getting the attention of, of probably what's going, who's going to be going down in infamy is probably one of the leading entrepreneurs of our generation, which is our current CEO. Yeah. Patch Bed David, who hosts a YouTube channel, not only known in the United States, but all over the world. And you and I were there when, when Patrick hosted the first Vault conference. Yeah. And you know, he was like wondering, okay, we're crossing a million subs. I don't know who's going to really show up. I don't know who's going to buy some tickets. I mean, people are spending five grand for a front row seat to this event, mm -hmm. 2,500 for the second, third, fourth rows, and then 500 just to get in the door. And it was jammed right there in Dallas. It was packed. I think it was like 53 countries showed up to Patrick met David's the vault conference and, and Patrick had invited us because we've been uh, directly impacted by value attainment and teachings of value attainment. So how do how did you get the mentorship? And you, you did a great video there with Palayo with you guys, with, with Palayo's uh, Corvette, your Tesla, Patrick's Ferrari. That's right. Right. So how did you earn the, the, the attention, mentorship, continued mentorship of a Patrick, but David, which obviously led you to becoming a cash flow millionaire. And for, for the record, when we raced the Tesla, the Z06 and the, and the Ferrari, guess who won, right? No. Was, you know, you know Tesla, right? <laughs> it's, was he in insanity mode? Even, no, that was the basic one. I couldn't afford the insanity one, man. That was the basic one. That's, it, it goes to tell you how fast those Teslas are, man. Wow. Anyway, so all my Tesla fans out there, I'm a big Tesla fan. Anyway, so, um, man, you know, uh, you know, God's got a plan, brother. It's, it was, it was his plan for me to, to meet Pat. It was his plan for, uh, to, you know, to have him as my mentor, my friend. And I'm just blessed, brother. I'm blessed that I got a chance. I got a chance to, uh, be at the right place at the right time. I can tell you that it was, uh, it was not uh, my calling, man. It was his calling and things happen for a reason to be there. Uh, literally, I literally went to his office. Uh, when that happened uh, back in the day, and then uh, I introduced myself, I said, I want to work with you. The rest is history. So I, I kind of recruited myself. 08, 09? That was 07. Oh, shit. 07, yeah, 07. So you and, went to go, hey, I'm, I'm, I want to work with you. That's what you said. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was working with another, uh, another, another group, another group, and then, uh, I, and then I met Patrick, and, uh, and we had to make a switch, and uh, the rest is history, man. So one is... Uh, you know, you got to you gotta be grateful to be at the right place at the right time, okay? You got to be grateful for that. And then, you know, more, like, like I said earlier, more is caught than taught. And being young in the business, and we started a company in 2009, um, I'm broke the first two years in the business, learning this business, don't know, what, don't broke, know much about it. What was broke to you? Broke is like, bro, I'm a, my first year, I think I made 1,500 bucks. And I'm in my, my late 20s, 1,500 bucks, bro. No joke. That's it broke. Me, it took that's, me, broke. That's, that's, that's broke. It took me eight months to get my first check because I failed my exam twice. So it took me six months to get my license, eight months for the first check, which is like 35 bucks. And I think I made like 1500 bucks that year. And then uh, the second, 1500 bucks. How many people would quit? I know, huh? All my buddies. Hey, are you a millionaire yet? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't a millionaire. Okay, so. So yeah, first couple of years, brother, I'm broke. So we meet me, Patrick, and then um, and then um, he has the, cast the vision of starting a PHP agency, starting a company. I look at my my girl from the time, Marlene. I said, "Babe, I'm broke. I know you're broke. We got nothing to lose. Let's just start a company. <laughs> if we make it, we make it. If we don't, we make, we don't." And that was 2009. And um, so the question was about earning. I think you said about being led or leadership, yeah. right? Question. Earning, earning, and keeping the attention of a mentor. Yeah. So, brother, for me, it was a little bit different because, um, 
you know, when we started the company, uh, Pat was probably looking at me like, if you quit, the whole company's going to go down <laughs> too, right? So it was like, you know, I, I can't afford it for you to quit, right? And, and I, I had nowhere to go. So I wasn't going to quit. I had nowhere to go, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to quit. And then he didn't want me to quit, probably, I'm sure, at the time. And so it was different. It was more about a lot of faith, brother, back then, a lot of faith. And then simply following his example. He was always a reader, still is a reader, a teacher, um, a visionary, casting the vision, the dream. And, and, then, and then you cannot, you cannot fake hard work, man. You cannot fake hard work so, day in, day out. So if that his example was being a leader, I simply just wanted to mimic that example. I showed up. He showed up before me. I showed up. He showed up on Saturdays. I showed up. He stayed late. I stayed late. He read books. I read books. He spoke. I decided to try and speak. Uh, he played hurt. I played hurt. Uh, he refused to quit. I learned, I learned to, re to refuse to quit. He learned how to fight. I learned how to fight. So, it, bro, at that point, it was just, I was just mirroring. I was mirroring an example, right? Because, I mean, because he, he, didn't, he didn't know how to start a company. I didn't know how to lead. And, but uh, but I, what I did know how to do was follow a good example. And, and that's what the example that I had. And then, then boom, then that, that became not only the example, but the mentor, the coach, the leader, the challenger. And then, boom, that's, that's where the, the, the respect came. Because as he leveled up, I'm leveling up. Yeah. As he read books, I, I'm reading books. So what, what it and, and you get to a point where now you, now you as a leader, you know, pa Patrick is, can be selective on who to work with, who to work with. And as a leader, you're looking for the coachable. You're, lo you're looking for the committed. You're looking for the ones that can play hurt. You're looking for the ones that uh, are not easily swayed by their emotions. They can control their emotions. They're sold out to the, the bigger picture. They're not going to bitch and complain at the next little problem that happens, you know, and then as a leader, you're observant. It's not about how you win. It's about how you play hurt because the wins are going to come. It's so easy when you're winning, making money. It's meant, how's this guy going to react when somebody quits, when money's tight, when family's not supporting you? So as, as, as a leader, you, you look out for that. So you can earn that, that time with the leader, the, the mentorship, and, and the, then it's going to pull you up. It's going to pull you up and pull you up. So you look for that as a leader. And then as, as, a, as a, someone that becomes as a follower first and you're, you know, there's a mentor, mentee, you, you got to be conscious of that, man. You got to be conscious of that and know that, hey, guess what? Other people know how to play hurt. You're just whining right now, right? Other people are actually working harder than you. You're just being lazy right now. Yeah. Other people actually are showing up and staying up later. You're, you're not. So don't complain when you're not winning. And as a leader, you got to observe that. And then you earn that right, you know, to be mentored by yourself, your wife and other people. You know, you got to want that, man. You got to want that. Because ultimately, who doesn't want, who doesn't want to make what you're making, right? Who doesn't want to live where you're at? Who doesn't want to, you know, have your bank account, right? If, right? if, 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 you, if you can go back in a time capsule or in a time machine, and you can whisper into the 20, 2009 Jose Gaetan, the 2010 Gaetan. If you can whisper something in his ear along the way, along this path, you know, the 2020 Gaetan talking to the 2009 Gaetan, <laughs> what's he whispering in his ear? Shoot, man. Uh, it's, it's all worth it, bro. It's so <laughs> worth it. It's, it's going to be so worth it. It's going to be so worth it, man. And, uh, and you, you, you got, you got to stay the course. Uh, it's so worth it. And, 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 and you better work 10 times harder. You work 10 times harder because you can get it so much earlier. The financial independence, the peace of mind, uh, where you're at, uh, the, that, that feeling of it being worth it is, is, is worth it. It's worth not waiting 10 years to get. And you go get it in two years. Go get it in three years, right? Uh, condense the time frame. So I would I would tell uh, the 2009 meme, so worth it and work ten times harder, 
and because uh, you're going to want to enjoy this life a lot sooner. And that's what I would tell anybody else is, 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 you know, you know, if you can, if you can, if you can cut, cut it back in half the time or a third of the time of the lifestyle, the peace of mind and the, your goals and dreams and providing for your family and your kids, your legacy, go work like you'd never worked before, man. You know, Saturday, Sundays for a short period of time, go do it, go do it. And, uh, and, and it's stop, stop bitching and about what you don't have. Uh, what's that quote is stop complaining about the things you don't have that you never worked hard for or something like that. You know what quote I'm talking about, something like that. Anyways, that's, that's what I would say, man. Be grateful for what you do have. Oh, my God.